Let's take a look at factoring a difference of squares, but this time with fractions. Well, that's almost scary, but I think we can handle this. Let's take a look at the example below. We have 49x squared minus 4 over 9. Well, it's pretty clear that 49x squared is a perfect square of 7x times 7x, so we could put that down below. It might take a little bit to notice that 4 over 9 is also a perfect square of 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. Once we have those figured out, we can put a 7x in the front of each bracket, a 2 over 3 in the back of each bracket, make one bracket a positive, one bracket a negative, and we have factored this difference of squares, even with the fractions. In this next example, both terms are fractions. It might look a little funny having the x squared over 9. That sometimes is written as 1 over 9 times x squared. Well, Either way, it's a difference of squares. So x squared over 9 is x over 3 times x over 3, so we could put that below. 1 over 25 is 1 over 5 times 1 over 5, so we could put that down here. We now can set up our square brackets. We know that an x over 3 goes in the front of each bracket, and a 1 over 5 goes in the back of each bracket. We make one bracket positive, and one bracket negative, and we have factored this difference of squares with fractions.